Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this video is kind of a short response, but also one that I want to kind of dive a little bit deeper for feedback on to a recent poll I put published on the channel that you guys, thanks so much for participating if you did. About an, almost a hundred of you um, gave me like basically the thumbs up to try something like this. So the idea that I posted a concept around building a new community for Ruby and Rails developers uh, in particular, which is kind of just a house or a place for those people to either join a com the community side of it or maybe find a job or, or just kind of just see what's going on in the state of Ruby and Rails developers, maybe network and whatnot. So I thought, well, if I'm going to build this thing, it'd probably be a good idea to screencast it like I have been some of these other apps. And doing something like that is quite a big undertaking. So I wanted to kind of preface this video with I'm tentatively doing this. I'm going to try my best to contribute to it consistently. But as you know, life is one of those busy avenues that gets in the way. So I have kids and whatnot. So I'll tr try my best. But the goal is to go ahead and start building this thing. I've already kind of taken from the feedback it's kind of given me a little validation to say hey i should try this even if it's a flop it's still something i show you guys how to build maybe see the whole process i'm thinking it's going to be a little more relaxed in style so it may be a little longer in content or just unrehearsed bits where i'm just kind of either working on an error that i can't get right or trying to fix things that just aren't working or whatnot and maybe not cutting that out of the video just to save my own sanity because I anticipate this taking a while. Um, I just kind of want to document it. I think it's a cool thing to see something from start to finish out there. And it's really rare to honestly see everything unless you're streaming it. But if you're streaming it, there's a lot of just nonsense in those videos, I think. So this will be edited, but it won't be so much that's going to be a polished product. So that's my preface, but the idea of this whole concept is to build a place for Ruby and Rails developers, a place to kind of go and have either the community side of it or find jobs or maybe subscribe to a newsletter and get new information there related to jobs or new developers. Maybe also a place for other contractors or employers to find developers in particular. So think of it as kind of a marketplace, but also just a community too. I'm not looking to go crazy with this app. I kind of wanted to just do a few things, but also be useful. An initial start here is to kind of be a home to either find a developer or a job. So there's kind of two sides of it. If you're a developer, you'd come here to maybe find a job. If you're a employer, maybe you're looking for people to hire. And then if you're a developer as well, you could also maybe participate in a community side of it, which will be a basic kind of forum concept that will build um, Chris from GoRails actually released a recent gem I might use that's a simple discussion forum. That's honestly all I would probably really need to get this to work and, and to fruition there. So the style of this initially I think is going to be very MVP, so like minimum viable product. I'm going to get it to work, get it to look reasonable. It won't be polished. There will probably be less tests and stuff than I need, um, but the idea is just to get it out there, get it, get it moving. Um, I'll definitely share as much source code as I can since this is probably going to be something where I charge maybe for a job post or something. I can't share some of the detail, but I'll do my best to give you as much behind the scenes as possible. Um, so the idea, like I said, will have your ability to find developers, uh, find jobs, and then the community with a newsletter of being maybe a auto generated um, RSS feed or something of latest jobs and developers. So we'll have a community side of it that just kind of, you know, come here to discuss and a job side of it where obviously there'll be jobs with um, hopefully different role types that we can come in. Um, a lot of this is mimicking other job boards I've seen out there or I've seen be successful. Making this all work is kind of tough, but it's it's possible. I'm thinking actually of reaching for maybe a front-end framework for the form of creating a new job because it's kind of a multi-part form. You can see there's three parts. I'm, think, I'm asking for job details. I'm asking for a preview or I'm showing a preview of that and then the payment details at the end. And I want to be able to go back at any point and edit things. So I'm thinking maybe Vue.js for that um, would be nice. I'm actually working on something similar at the moment, but I think um, 
we'll see how that turns out just to kind of use it as a as a model to get this working calling this at the moment rails devs um i actually have the domain so it's dot com so railsdevs.com there's nothing there um really don't recommend going there or sharing it there's nothing there at the moment i just wanted to get something as a place to maybe put this at the at some point even if it's a flop i don't i don't really care but uh, the idea is to mostly show Intel going further. If you were to search for uh, developers, we've got something like this. Maybe if a person's posting or looking for developers, I have another feature of, of advanced filtering that might be worthy of charging for. I don't know how it's going to work. Um, at essence, posting a job to the job board is going to be the main uh, monetary value in this. But I think also finding developers, like people, if, if they're going to find you on the internets, they'll do it. So I don't think I need to gate like communicating or anything. Um, that'd just be doing a disservice to developers anyway. So I think just the features around finding um, developers would make more sense. So this is kind of just me riffing on the idea. These I use this app called Whimsical for this wireframe. Um, stuff it's really cool if you check it out you can do like storyboards and and flow charts there they are notes mind maps um i think you could do like three free boards of all this stuff so i've used this app from like day one i saw it i loved it compared to other wireframing tools out there just this is how i typically start so i'll start with an idea since i'm a designer first i would say I kind of have to get some visuals going and then it helps me scope out what criteria I need for maybe like a job model or a user model or a developer model or whatever we're going to call it in this case. Um, and then, you know, just go to town. So this might be a project where we actually have maybe two models around the user. Maybe it's an employer or a developer and then for each would have different criteria. Um, I've never done that before. Uh, using Devise in particular, you might have one user that's like the main user model, and then you might have like one that's like a manager or something, or an account or something just different there. That might make sense to try. I'm not sure. I might just have a flag that says, hey, I'm an employer instead. Uh, that's just a quick and easy Boolean property instead. Less headache. But this is what I'm thinking. I'm interested in your feedback. I wanted to just share some progress of where my mind's at at the moment. And if you think this is you know, worthy of, of time and effort, um, obviously, if even if it doesn't succeed as an app, I, I want to you know, kind of teach and show and tell building something like this. It really is perfect for Rails, in my opinion. So it's, it's nothing that needs to be too... Um, extracted into some crazy other framework or something like that i think rails besides this maybe this form is perfect for these things uh, multi-part forms or multi-step forms in rails are pretty tough they're not always um awesome in my opinion you have to save everything to like session and then that's not always dependable um but with front-end frameworks it's not that great either but it, there's more reactiveness we can do and and kind of if it's, say, in this case, if the role type's part-time, maybe we offer a different uh, salary range or something like that. But anyway, this is where I'm thinking. Um, coming up, I would I would say this is a good maybe part one, but um, coming up, I'll start maybe going deeper into the process of mapping out data. Um, with that, that's honestly just like a note document for me or a markdown document where I map, okay, what models I need, what user attributes and and columns and whatnot i might need um not going to hit that out of the park at the first go but it is something you can kind of scaffold and get decently close the first time i do have these follow buttons i don't know that i'll have following it really it doesn't make sense on this platform i don't think but that's just kind of some ui i was just messing around with nothing nothing here is like certain so just take that with a grain of salt when you see this um, but as we build it, I think a lot of the job criteria is going to be directed related to the what data we display, display per user and, and developer on the platform. So if you have other ideas of what ways we can enhance this or features I could add that wouldn't make this either simpler in this case or less 
less you know of a effort i think that makes more sense to kick this thing off and start with you can always add things later like uh, the newsletter i think is going to be an afterthought while i think it's important to have i think getting this thing up and running would be f the first criteria of either the job board or the, f the finding of developers so i'm um, initially i'm thinking instead of you know there being no jobs posted i'm going to have to post jobs manually um, that I find in the wild that are rails or Ruby related. So I think those are going to make um, more difference there that just we just have them listed here at first. And then maybe if, if the site grows, more people want to post a job for a fee. Uh, we'll see there. So like I said, would love some feedback. If you have additional criteria you think would be a good fit for this, let me know. And that's it for now. Um, I have no idea of the you know format and what what's to come. I'm, typically, when I've done other screencasts, I build the app once first and then come back through, kind of with a rehearsed fashion, and show it off and build it again with you guys. But in this case, I think I'm going to do it different and build it in real time. So you're going to see me struggling more um, and not understanding what's going on. But I'll try to, you know, not edit out everything, but just kind of give you some perspective of, of where I'm at, when and why and how. So with that, I'll leave you for now. Thanks for watching. And again, thank you for contributing to my poll here. That means a lot. And the validation there, um, you know, just helped me kind of secure this concept. And, and it was my next endeavor. I had tried another concept right before this for a SaaS product and realized it wasn't really answering a problem that needed to be answered. So this is my next step. We'll see what happens with this. Who knows if it'll work. But that's the beauty in it all. It's about the process, not the, not the end result. So I will see you in the next video. Peace.